Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, and today we're going to be watching Tokyo Ghoul Episode 9. So, last episode was obviously a bit of a crazy episode. Um, we, we really dealt with the confrontation. So we had Mado and Toka, and that was the biggest thing for me. Um, I think Mado might be dead. I'm not sure. Um, either way, I really liked that whole fight with, you know, trying to defend Hinami. Just the way all of that uh, went down, I thought was incredible. Um, it, it, we really dealt with some different themes. That's kind of where we left off. And then Kaneki, he let the other agent go. So I don't know. Kaneki was really trying to do like the right thing this last episode. And I feel like that made an impression on, on, uh, Mato's partner. I forget what his name is. Um, so I'm very excited to see where the show is going. Obviously, as always, full length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon next week's reaction episode 10. Also going to be up on the Patreon if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, um, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. And let's just get into Tokyo Ghoul episode 9. <laughs> what? Who's this dude? Oh, this is a flashback. I wonder if we get to see a little bit more of Mato. Huh. Yeah, he seems a lot more normal. Almost just like, he reminds me of Light or something, where it's like he's kind of weird, like uh, from Death Note, but not like horrible. Dude, just seeing Ava likes to be such a, a noob. Yeah, I mean, when you've been doing it for long enough, for sure not. Is this lady really gonna be a ghoul? What the heck? I don't know. What? What game is he playing? <laughs> okay, so he doesn't believe it. <laughs> it's still so, dude, the Queenie Quays are still so messed up. Like, the fact that you're gonna talk about that casually is horrible. <laughs> You better be careful, dude. Oh. Oh, she's gonna attack you, bro. She's a hundred percent attacking you. Dude, you're walking under like a freeway pass with her. Oh, dude. What the heck? Whoa! Oh, jeez! We're Kagane or free- Ew! <laughs> ah, this show is evil for showing me this backstory. Because, like, I get it. I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him against the ghouls. I, I understand. <laughs> the same quote. That's awesome. Shinohara? Who's this guy? He's still going? That's... I really like Amon. I... You gotta respect him and, and how much he cared about Mado and everybody, even though Mado's kind of a, a weirdo, at the very least. <laughs> Dang. What a way to open the show, man. It's it's like at every turn, it's like, oh, let's humanize these people that you thought you knew were horrible. This show is incredible. Like, I don't know what happens in season two and everything. I know people say it goes down from there, but so far, it's incredible the kind of character work and, uh, like, thought-provoking um, moral ideas 
A home? <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. That's really good, man. I, it's it, it's cool that Toka is even taking care of her. That's so revealing of Toka's care. <laughs> Sometimes you need that thing that you gotta hold on to, and, and that helps uh, bring you out of it. <laughs> Poor Toka. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck is the devil ape? <laughs> Talking all weird over here. Whoa. That's awesome. Is she like his kid or something? Who was that? <laughs> oh, we don't know her very well. That's weird. See, I wish he had more. I, that's what worries me. I wish he had more control. Right? Riza is just like stealing the spotlight from. Huh. Okay. I wonder if there's something to that, to, to Riza's origin. Who the heck is this? Is that the same person from the cemetery? What's with the stitches? Dude, I've heard about this character, I feel like. <laughs> oh, shoot, dude. She just pickpocketed you. Who the heck is this lady? She's the same age as Kaneki, so she's a kid. Wow. He put that together real quick already. How does he know all this, dude? He's gonna figure you out. <laughs> Dang it, dude. I should have known. I was like, does he know? No. Of course not. Oh, okay. Wait. Does he know? What? Is this Toka? <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is adorable. <laughs> oh. Don't be hitting me with the feels. Oh, the rabbit. So, where's Ayato? And how did Toka become a ghoul? <laughs> I love how happy Hinami is. It it it's so endearing. Uh. Dang! <laughs> Shh! <laughs> oh no! Wait. Wait, what? Is he a ghoul? Wait, what is happening? Whoa, these guys are awesome. 
Oh, they're going after Rize. What? Ayato. Oh! Oh! What? Wait. What? So her brother is still alive and he's a ghoul. This is just so cra- I mean- Okay, I guess we didn't really know anything about Toka's backstory, so that makes sense. But it's crazy at the same time. Okay, um, everything is going down probably in the next few episodes. I mean, I guess we're coming up towards the end of the season, too, so that's understandable. But Toka has a brother. Um, he has been the one who's who's been targeting the investigators, and now they're coming to the 20th Ward. Everybody's after Rize, basically. Um, and Kaneki's friend, I feel like he's a ghoul. I feel like for sure he's a ghoul. Um, and that's why he was learning more about the ghouls or, or something like that. I, it, it, they focused on him too much to the point where I'm like, something's going on with him. Um, I really liked this, though. Obviously, the reveal of Ayato is crazy. But even just seeing a little bit of Toka's childhood and seeing how she was raised, I hope we get more of it. I kind of want to see how she became a ghoul, to be honest. Um, I think that could be really interesting. And I just don't know. Um, she is such an interesting character and seeing more of how she got where she got and even seeing like Ayato being like, oh, she's a peace lover it is very interesting. Um, I think definitely in these next few episodes, we're going to start getting a different perspective of the ghouls, um, in a, in a totally unique way. And I'm very, very excited about that. So, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what's going to go on from here. I'm very excited. This was kind of a little bit of a slower episode, but in a very good kind of way. We got Amon being part of a special investigator unit. So I feel like um, because this season is coming to a head, I think what we got 12 episodes. We have three more episodes left. I think these next three episodes are going to be crazy. I think so much is going to go down in these next three episodes. And I'm really, really excited about it. So yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. As always, Fall Length Reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Next week's reaction is going to be up on the Patreon as well. If you want to go check that out, episode 10. And we got a ton more anime on the channel if you want to go check that out. Haikyuu, Demon Slayer, uh, Fruits Basket. We got uh, Full Metal Alchemist, a few other things like that coming in the future. So feel free to go ahead and check that out. Thank you for joining us here and watching. And if you decide to stick around, I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>